Your voice and ours on 938 Live. Time for business news. An update on what's happening in markets in Singapore. Shares were flat with large caps mixed amid a smattering of corporate news. The Benchmark Straits Times Index or SDI closed up one point to 2,882 points. For more on market action, we have on the line Andy Yu, a remisier at Philips Securities. Thanks for joining us, Andy. Markets were hovering near the flat line today. What's going on? Hi, uh, good evening, uh, Michelle. Straits Time Index closed flat at uh, 2,882, with most Asian stock market drifted lower today with the concern over the attack in Belgium, casting a shadow on the market sentiment. The Nikkei fell 0.28%, while Hang Seng down 0.25%, and Shanghai Composite was up 0.35%. This may be due to the short trading week, as this coming Friday is a Good Friday holiday. Traders will reduce the trade as they will not like to have too many open positions over the long weekend. Eddie, what are some of the key events that investors should be looking out for? Okay, the one of the key events is the Singapore budget, which will be delivered tomorrow. Uh, this is what some investors should be looking at. If government announce a budget that will help specific sector or SME businesses, it will probably help the stock market. And what sectors or which stocks are you looking at right now? Okay, right now I'm look, watching the gaming sector. Recently I noticed that the gaming or casino sector is picking up from its low. And casino stocks around the world is picking up from the bottom. Stocks like stock like uh, Galaxy Entertainment, Sense China, uh, Wayne Macau listed in Hong Kong has been moving up steadily over the past few weeks. And for Singapore, I think investors can keep a watch for Genting Singapore. Andy, thanks for joining us. Andy, you there, a remisier at Philip Securities. Now, Singapore's consumer.